Alright YouTube, just a quick video. <clears throat> I had uh, one day, uh, I forget exactly when I filmed this, but uh, I was going to put this false bottom in here. You raise up and down underneath this area. Got a little bit of a lip there. And I'm going to put a put a riser under there with a pan. Let the mites fall through here into that pan and have a way that I can switch them out. Uh, this is so that in the winter time I can put a solid bottom on this without any problem at all. Today what I'm doing is I'm putting a screen shield through here to keep the mice out up here because that hole is probably the perfect size for a mouse to go through. But I'm going to put a larger piece of wire in there staple it just like I did on this side so that hopefully the bees can go in there and use fewer guard bees they'll be able to get in and out this will help with the ventilation as well as that it also do a good job to keep the mites out of there this is the riser I'm going to use on the bottom I'm going to have it open on one end so the pan can slide in and out and um, I'm going to set this hive up as a bait hive. Got some lemongrass oil, use some pollen substitute in it. Put these old frames in here, and I believe it'll work. I know it's just one drop of that lemongrass oil. But let me know what you think, and give me some more ideas. I'm getting a lot of knowledge off of uh, YouTube, several sites that I'm looking at. Um, I do beekeeping type stuff. These homemade hives I think will work just fine. They have in the past. I'm going to continue to use them. Try to make them. I'll probably make uh, the boxes just like they are now. I don't know that I'll do any more of these screen bottoms or not. The way I have them, I may just put the screen on there permanently. And then put a false bottom on it. In the winter time, I'll leave this open in the summer. What do y'all think? Thank you for watching.